In-home safety for seniors. Whether you're living alone or with loved ones, there are steps you can take to help ensure your home is a safe and comfortable environment. In this video, we'll cover the most important aspects of in-home safety for seniors, from fall prevention to emergency preparedness. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of how to create a safe and secure living space that meets your unique needs. Security One of the most important aspects of in-home safety for older adults is security. Unfortunately, seniors are at a higher risk of being victims of crime, making it crucial to take steps to feel safer. From break-ins to home burglary, taking the necessary precautions can help ensure your well-being and peace of mind. Investing in a home security system can help deter criminals from burglarizing your home. Criminals are less likely to target a home with a visible security system, as it increases the risk of being caught. Security cameras can help identify criminals who have committed crimes on your property, and some security camera plans allow for 24-hour monitoring from a professional service. Security cameras can also be used to monitor the inside of your home, which can be useful if you want to keep an eye on an elderly or bed-bound family member or even a pet. Fire Smoke detectors Smoke detectors are essential devices that can save lives in case of a fire. However, they need maintenance to ensure they are working correctly. You should test your smoke detector once a month to make sure it is functioning correctly. Additionally, it is recommended that you clean your smoke detectors or have them cleaned every six months. Carbon monoxide detectors Carbon monoxide is a deadly, odorless gas that can go undetected by humans. Carbon monoxide detectors are just as important as smoke detectors. The National Safety Council recommends, you install a carbon monoxide detector in the hallway near each separate sleeping area in your home, have your furnace and water heater serviced every year, don't heat your home with a gas stove. Fire extinguishers, having an in-home fire extinguisher can be helpful in case of a small fire, such as a grease fire while cooking. There are in-home fire extinguishers as light as 5 pounds, and some even come in a can that weighs only 2 pounds. However, it is crucial to learn how to use a fire extinguisher before needing it. Remember, safety is always first, so get out of the house if you are in any danger at all. Kitchen The kitchen is a place where many accidents can happen. From fires to cuts, burns, slips, and fall risks, it can be a treacherous place to navigate. However, many precautions can be taken to prevent accidents. Fires, cooking comes with an inherent risk of starting a fire. To reduce this risk, it's better to wear short sleeves while cooking. It's also essential to have a fire extinguisher in your home and kitchen. Fireballs can also be mounted above your stove slash oven, which will self-activate once a flame hits them. Keep fire extinguishers in an easy access area, and if you are in any danger, get out. Cuts it is easy to cut yourself in the kitchen, even when being careful. To prevent such painful accidents, consider using cut-resistant gloves. Wire mesh gloves are effective and are required to be worn by butchers and deli workers whenever using knives or machines to cut. Finger guards made of wire mesh material can also be found to prevent cuts, allowing you to slice while having a barrier between your fingers and the knife. Burns It is easy to get burned while cooking or baking. To prevent this accident from happening, consider using heat-resistant silicone oven rack shields. They are easy to install by either snapping or sliding on. Silicone mitts that are heat-resistant can also help protect from burns and prevent dropping. Oven mitts can be effective, but they can be thin or get holes, exposing your hands to possible burns. Bathroom The bathroom can be a dangerous place, especially for the seniors or those with limited mobility. There are several steps you can take to make your bathroom safer and reduce the risk of falls and other accidents. Shower slash bath, one of the most significant potential hazards in the bathroom is a shower that requires climbing over a tub wall. This can be especially dangerous when there is water on your feet, making it easy to slip and fall. To reduce this risk, consider installing a low step-in shower or a walk-in shower that has no step over at all. Another option is to use a transfer bench or shower chair that allows you to sit while washing. If you prefer to soak in a tub, a walk-in jacuzzi tub might be a good option. Bath grab rails, bath grab rails, also known as grab bars, can assist when in the shower and if you have balance issues. They can be used to steady yourself when entering and exiting the tub slash shower for a safer experience. If you are going to install grab bars, make sure to get ones that are secured with screws. They do make grab bars that adhere with suction, but it is safer to have them screwed in. 
Important, do not use towel racks as a support tool. They aren't designed to support body weight and may fail if used to do so. Rubber mat, one of the least expensive products you can purchase for added shower slash tub safety is a rubber mat. Easy to put to use, lay it in the shower, that's it. Just be careful that it's secure and slip proof. Toilets, sometimes with limited mobility, a toilet that is higher than usual can be such as grade aid. Say if you have had knee surgery and have trouble bending your leg, having an raised toilet seat can make it easier and help prevent falls. Call button, having a call button, or medical alert, in the bathroom can provide added safety. If something should happen, such as a slip or fall, or if assistance is needed, having a call button to alert a family member or caregiver can be an excellent accessory to have in the bathroom. Bedroom When it comes to a senior's bedroom, safety should be a top priority. The bedroom should be well lit with good lighting to avoid tripping and falling. Here are some tips to help make a senior's bedroom safer. Beds, the bed should be of the appropriate height to prevent falls. According to the Disability Rights Education and Defense Fund, the recommended height for beds is 20 to 23 inches from the floor, measuring up to the top of the mattress. If the bed is too high or too low, it can increase the risk of falls. Bed rails, bed rails can serve two functions. They can prevent falling out of bed and can also be used to balance while setting up and getting out of bed. It is important to ensure that bed rails are properly installed and are the correct size for the bed. Nightlights, placing nightlights in the bedroom to light a pathway can help avoid trips and bumping into furniture in the dark. Motion-censored nightlights that automatically come on when movement is detected are a great option. To further increase safety, it is important to clear clutter, including electric cords, off the floor so the walking path is wide. Miscellaneous Tips To ensure your safety, there are some miscellaneous tips you should follow. Check for and replace burnt-out light bulbs, discourage the use of space heaters, keep a cell phone nearby when possible, keep a list of emergency phone numbers handy, keep windows and doors locked at all times, make sure light switches are accessible. Frequently Ask Questions How can technology contribute to in-home safety for the elderly? Technology can play a significant role in ensuring the safety of seniors at home. Medical alert systems can be used to send an immediate alert to a monitoring center in case of a fall, while fall detection devices can automatically detect a fall and alert caregivers. Smart home monitoring systems can also provide additional safety measures, such as monitoring for smoke, carbon monoxide, and water leaks. Are there professionals who can help assess and improve in-home safety? Yes, there are professionals who can help assess and improve in-home safety for seniors. Occupational therapists can assess the home environment and recommend modifications to improve safety and accessibility. Geriatric care managers can provide guidance on a range of issues related to aging, including home safety. Home safety specialists can also conduct a safety evaluation and recommend modifications to improve the safety of the home. How often should I assess and update the safety measures in a senior's home? It is recommended to assess and update the safety measures in a senior's home at least annually, or more frequently if health conditions change. Regular assessments can help identify potential hazards and allow for modifications to be made to ensure the safety of the senior. Updating safety measures as needed can help prevent accidents and injuries, and ensure that the senior is able to live safely and comfortably in their home. Conclusion In conclusion, in-home safety for seniors is an important topic that deserves attention and care. By following the tips and guidelines outlined in this article, you can create a safe and secure living space that promotes independence and peace of mind. From fall prevention to emergency preparedness, there are many aspects of in-home safety to consider. By taking a proactive approach to your safety, you can enjoy your golden years with confidence and comfort. Remember, your home is your sanctuary, and it should be a place where you feel safe, secure, and happy. Thank you for watching. To read the full article and see a home safety checklist, go to livingyourseniorlife.com. The link can be found in the video description.